So let's swing up in the ring and give them an opportunity. This main event, ladies and gentlemen, two out of three four for the 60-minute time limit. On the outside of the ring, making his appearance, 265 pounds in the red corner, Bugsy McGraw. And in the ring, 230 pounds from Buffalo, New York, maniac Mark Lloyd. Your referee, Bronco Lugan. I want everyone here to know that I never said I quit the Gino Hernandez or anybody else. Bronco, you did the right thing maybe by stopping the match because I was injured, but I never said I quit to nobody, not in my whole time, that's for sure. So, Mark Lewin, who recently lost a match to Gino Hernandez, an I quit match when he was injured inside the fence. And then came the referee, interpreted what? Wait a minute. You are a gutless liar because you're a quitter who said I quit. You're a quitter. Mark Lewin now going out after Gino Hernandez, who is accusing Lewin of being a quitter and saying that he quit. This is not the, there is a track race going on here and Lewin and Gino Hernandez are mixed up in it. But it was Lewin who was giving the lie to what happened here last week that he quit and said I quit. He denies it. There is no question that he was injured. But what he is arguing about is that the match was stopped. And Gino Hernandez has been tossing some oil on the fire here by screaming that Mark Lewin is a quitter. And outside, we've got Mark Lewin right here alongside of us. And the big Bugsy McGraw trying to stomp him through the floor here at the Coliseum. Lewin still on the floor behind us and Bugsy McGraw roaring back into the ring. This is a big, tough, rugged individual. McGraw, a solid man and I think with a solid head. It's hard to tell. He's got a rare smattering of things that sound intelligent, but coming out of him, they make no sense. There is Lewin again, being caught by by Bugsy, and trying to recover from the uh, sneak attack that laid him out cold in that ring, and the further kicking of Bugsy McGraw just jarred him into awakening. McGraw, Bugsy, and here is the toughness of Mark Lewin that after absorbing that punishment on the outside of the ring, he is shaking his head and looking for a way to get back into the ring. You see him, huge man Lewin, a tough individual who stays in great condition. But you've got to be in condition to battle a guy like like Bugsy or anybody else. Lewin has not yet recovered enough to make a move in Bugsy's direction. So here he has hung on. He's trying to stay away from Bugsy just a little bit and shake that head of his and get the cobwebs out of it. Lewin got one wallop in, but these fans want to see him knock Bugsy's beard cross-eyed. And but Bugsy here is not going to be denied. Top man is Bugsy, and Bugsy is well. I'll tell you that victory howl may be just a little bit late, or a little bit early, I should say, rather because the, he hasn't won this fall and he hasn't won this match.
Bracho, the lift, and a slam, and Bugsy gets a, his foot in there for sure as he goes up on the rope to look for the target and to land. Ooh, cow. There it is. There is a fall registered for Bugsy McGraw has scored over Mark Lewin and the first fall was all Bugsy. He literally crawled all over, all over Lewin and that is exactly the way that Bugsy battered him down into, into defeat. Bugsy right now looks like he's ready to tear the ring apart. But we'll be back here in a moment after we have this word from the studio. Well, Mark Lewin is sitting somewhere in the fourth row. He got out of the ring, walked up and down, and now you see him approaching back uh, toward the ring. 15 seconds left in the two-minute intermission period between falls. Bugsy McGraw is up in the ring. There's the countdown. So the bell sounded. Bugsy is impatient. The Lewin is not impatient. He's biding his time, trying to make sure that when he steps back in that ring, the same thing is not going to happen to him. He was taken by surprise when Gino Hernandez came down to the ring and distracted him. And now he is ready to stand toe to toe with Bugsy McGraw. <clears throat> and he set the big man up. Chino Hernandez has come down the ringside and is trying to distract Mark Lewin again. On top is Mark Lewin, and we've got a fall. <clears throat> Maniac Mark Lewin takes the equalizing fall on Bugsy McGraw. And now the fans start to give Lewin his battle call. And whoop, whoop, whoop. And it became such a familiar sound here in the Sam Houston Coliseum. But Bugsy McGraw is not accustomed to it. This is the second match he has had in the Houston ring. The fans now are telling Mark Lewin to get after him. We're going to stay right here during this period of intermission. The bell will sound at the end of two minutes. There is one minute gone as Lewin now, in command up in that ring, worries McGraw by maneuvering around and giving him something to worry about. Bugsy McGraw, tough customer from Indiana. 30 seconds left in the intermission period, and Mark Lewin in a much better position now to distract, or rather to not be distracted. He was distracted in the first fall. He, he didn't pay any attention to Gino Hernandez in that um, second fall, and he came out with a win. The countdown. There's the bell. And Mark Lewin uncorks to hand Bugsy McGraw a real problem. Now, the first time Lewin outside has got has a chance to give McGraw the kind of punishment that came his way in the first fall. It was all McGraw in the first fall, but it has been 
Mark Lowen delivering the punishment since he got going in the second. And here as he bends over McGraw and hauls away at him with a chokehold, he leans in there to get underneath the whiskers of the big man from Indiana and Bugsy smashes into the ring post, a solid smash. Lewin, man who studied the martial arts <clears throat> throughout the Orient, number of years in Singapore, and is capable of some rare moves up in that ring, is now with his two feet solidly planted. Upset, anxious. Mark trying to set him up. He's got him with the sleep hold. The hold he calls the Shanghai sleeper. And he pours it to Bugsy, but Bugsy backed into that turnbuckle that time, and that's enough to break any hold, I'll tell you. Mule kick that found its target. Oh, he came around there swinging that time with that leg. Referee warning Mark Lewin that he is using that blow in the throat with those fingers extended and joined and driving the points of the fingers into the throat of um, Bugsy, but the crowd and Lewin denied it. Bugsy's in trouble. There is another blow into the throat, solidly. He's got a handful of face and a ripping move. Oh, man, he came down there solidly. And Gino Hernandez is down there calling Mark Lewin a quitter. Mark to do it. Bugsy McGraw across that ring and into Mark Lewin. And Gino Hernandez called Mark Lewin, a quitter. And Bugsy McGraw saw the opening, drove across there and drove his knee into the back of maniac Mark Lewin. So with Lewin stretched on the, on the canvas, McGraw is the winner of the third and deciding fall in this battle with an assist from Gino Hernandez. We'll be back here in a moment after we have this word from the studio.